thought I would look today into um, the uh, Trump, the big shakeup at the White House. So what's going on with this big shakeup at the White House? It's got all these old people coming back in. What's up with this shakeup at the White House? What is up with this? What is Trump doing with this big shake up at the White House? Thinks these people will give a better opportunity. I think it's more of the uh, opportunity. These people will, you know, kowtow to what he says. Okay. He knows them. He's not happy with the ones he's got in there now. Um, flattery. Okay. They know how to get around him. They're basically, let's just put it out there, the ass kissing squad. <laughs> I want to have my full-on ass-kissing squad. I deserve it. Okay? Oh, God. All right. You know, they'll go out there, wear the armor, say whatever I want them to say, do whatever I want them to do. I could send my little army out there. Yeah. He's got to have those there that he can emotionally deal with, okay? So he's putting an end to the ones that are, that are not willing to flatter him, that are not willing to, to uh, you know, kiss his butt at every turn and flatter him, okay? He, he's, he just, yeah. <laughs> basically comes down I want my ass kissing squad okay what's wrong with that so I want to next ask about Mulvaney is he going to get rid of Mulvaney what's going on you know for a while we heard that it looks like Mulvaney is in the crosshairs is Mulvaney going to be able to pull it out and stay there? Or is Mulvaney uh, another one that's going to be axed from there? Kind of sitting there working on things. Things are being worked on. it feel like the writings on the wall there just biding time looks like he's being kind of isolated there trying to keep his head down do what he needs to do will it be enough though eccentricity and <laughs> not with Trump okay let's see what else we have That's not going to be enough to keep in the good graces of Trump. He's trying, like with this one, it feels like he's trying to hide away. I'm just trying to do the work and, you know, <laughs> try to get through this as best I can. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to stay. It looks more like, uh, again, I want the happy family. I want those around me, you know, that are going to, you know, I want new opportunities, new ones in here, um, ones that can walk the path and do what I want them to do, okay? So it looks like uh, Mulvaney is not going to be long for, for this either, okay? So Mulvaney is out. Um, how is he doing with uh, the 
what's his name, the pompous, starts with a P. I could see his face so clearly. Oh, what the heck is his name? Well, you know who I mean, the pompous one that's, uh, just sits there. The cards know who I mean. Doing all he can to hold on to, hold on to it. Ah, that just makes me crazy when the name goes right out. Um. So what's up with the pompous one? Inheritance. Pompeo. That's it. Pompous Pompeo. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of holding on by a thread. Yeah, so it looks like maybe some things are coming in. Uh, Trump is not really happy with it, but uh, he's still holding holding on by a thread. He's been there for a while. That's why I feel with the inheritance thing. He kind of inherited that position. He came into it. He's still trying to hold his own, although, you know, uh, not really, Trump is not really happy with these things. And I think he's not too happy with, I think he, he, Trump feels like he's not giving enough. He wants all of this. Okay, he's only getting this, and he wants all of this. And uh, Pompeo kind of sits there and uh, sulking, okay, sulking. Because Trump is there, and he wants it how he wants it, when he wants it, you know, the wish-fulfilling thing. And this guy, you know, he's holding on to whatever he's got and offering whatever he's got out there. It, well, this is what I got, you know, and I'll give, you know. So he's trying to hold on to his position. He, he just is so smarmy. You look, <laughs> Pompous Pompeo, he always gets up. smarmy look he's got. So who else do we have there? Uh, oh, what about his, uh, the person that he's had doing his news things, uh, what's her name? She hasn't, the press, she hasn't been doing anything hardly, the press. They never have any, uh, open things up to the press anymore. Okay. Another four, biding her time. Okay. Um, doesn't look like it's quite as emotionally fulfilling as she thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh my goodness. Another four of cups. Negotiation. Okay. Yeah, it feels like she's biding her time. Uh, and um, 
She's getting her money. Maybe thinking a little better of it at times. Oh, maybe she's thinking about leaving. Okay. Looks like maybe they're having some negotiation with her. Uh, she's not really thrilled with it. Thinking about perhaps leaving. Okay. So, looks like she's thinking things over. I wonder if Sean Spicer's coming back to... Uh, Maybe she's thinking about being done with it. So we'll have to see what happens with her. But they're in some sort of negotiation. I don't know whether she's negotiating with herself, trying to uh, talk herself into staying there, even in the midst of all this drama. But it looks like she's thinking about leaving. Yeah. It's like, what have I gotten myself in for? Yeah, kind of like feeling like a bit of maybe regret. Like, uh, I thought I could do this, you know. Um, but it's not as fulfilling as she thought it would be. Um, what are my opportunities on the horizon? Should I cut my losses? Should I leave? Should I stay? That's what I'm feeling with her. Okay, who else do we have there to look at? The Trumpy administration. Okay, what's going on with Ivanka? We don't see her anywhere anymore. What's up with Ivanka? With his new regime coming in. What's up with Ivanka? Okay. Looks like uh, she's trying to hold it together. Um, birth. So is she pregnant or is she just trying to figure out some new way to way to go? I think it's more about she's looking for uh, her way forward, her way out, you know, uh, wishing she had a crystal ball. Um, I think some of this is getting to her emotionally. It's starting to get to her as well. She doesn't really see good things coming out of this. <clears throat> Trying to keep strong. Okay. Wanting to... <clears throat> So it looks like she's trying to figure out ways to go forward for when all this mess is done. Yeah, what can I, what can I birth? What can I do new? How can I change things? Uh, because I'm sitting here with a, a whole mess, okay? I got that whole cup of, of stuff there, you know, I'm trying to talk to my daddy, you know, but daddy doesn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> trying to talk to daddy but daddy doesn't listen and so it's like I gotta start thinking about myself and what I can do how I can stay strong what can I do new 
uh, to promote myself and to promote my things. Yeah, so I think she's looking for trying to find new enterprises and new ways to skew things. Yeah. How can I go forward? What can I take from this? And um, yeah, where do I need to put my energy next? Okay. So again, she's just trying to boy, I think, boy herself up. Okay, trying to stay positive, trying to figure a way to go forward. Um, trying to, what is she trying to birth? Mm, maybe she's also trying to give some advice to her dad. <clears throat> okay, how to be stronger in a positive way. Okay. Or maybe she's seeing that she needs to see she's birthing this stuff is it's more and more strong is coming out with maybe she needs to um, maybe she needs to leave. Maybe she needs to get out of this. Okay. And it looks like she's looking for those that she can um, <clears throat> band together with. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. So I think it's a combination of this thing. She's trying to figure out what her next move and then also trying to, uh, you know, boy up her, her dad and, and looking for those that are coming in new. Um, <clears throat> they're <clears throat> at this point in time trying to <clears throat> bring in a new administration that's going to, um, you know, kowtow to him, him and his drama. Hmm. Does he really think he can manipulate the system to change it so he can stay in power. Does he really think he can become like a, a dictator? Does, he, does Trump really think he can change the system to make this a country of, with a dictator instead of uh, a limited presidency? Does Trump really think, does he have aspirations of turning this into a dictatorship? With him and his royal family. <laughs> Apparently so. <clears throat> okay. Apparently so. Republican Party just tie it all up in a, with a package with a nice little bow for me. Okay. <laughs> I can wrap it up. Okay. Can wrap it up. Restless. So yeah, he's trying to move that forward, trying to figure out, finagle a way to <laughs> change the system. Okay. How can I rule over everything, tie this up with a neat little bow? Yeah, I want to put an end to the system that we have here. Pootie's little puppet. <clears throat> yeah, I've got my people out there, slice and dice, okay, to put an end to the system and wrap it up in a neat little package so I can become a dictator. Okay, sure, why not? Okay, and how is this going to work for Trump? 
how is this going to work for Trump? He really thinks he can be this a dictatorship. He is really that delusional. Wow, he's totally delusional. Sure, I can do this. I can have them wrap it up for me and put a nice little bow on it. Well, look at that. I think that is, yeah, it's got to be my moon card. Okay. So, yeah, he's, uh, or is that, well, let me look it up and see. It's either the moon card or it's the, the, uh, the, um, temperance. Let me look and see. Yeah, he thinks he can dominate, and he can use religion as a way to do it. He could do, he's got his little evil angels out there to help him to dominate it and turn it into, <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, that's the temperance card. <clears throat> So he's, he's got the ideas of dominating and doing it and having the little evangelicals, everybody behind him, you know, like they did with the, uh, we're going to make this a Christian place. It's going to be, you know, uh, but temperance. Okay. He may have those aspirations to try to get away with it, but judgment is coming. Yeah, yeah. So he thinks he's going to be able to dominate it, but they're going to cool his jets. He's not going to get to go as far as what he thinks he's going to be able to manipulate and do. Okay. Um, they're catching him on it. Uh, so, yeah. No, it's not going to happen. So what's going to happen when they tell Trump, okay, you're done. You need to leave the White House. Okay. Your time is over. You need to go. How is this going to affect Trump? How is it going to affect Trump when they tell him, Okay, uh, you're done. Okay, time for you to leave. Pack your bags. Vacate the White House. Okay. Vacate the White House. emotional time for him but I'm the king how can you tell me to leave but it's like yeah he's on the seashore and the waves are coming in and just going to overtake him <laughs> it's like emotional protection Yeah, he's going to feel like a caged. We've got the tiger there under protection, the caged, and then we got the baby up there. So we got those two different things going under protection. King and the queen. Emperor and the Empress. 
He's not going to want to believe it, okay? He's not going to want to believe it. No, but I'm setting up for my empire. For me and, and Ivanka and the empire and, you know, uh, yeah, we need to be protected. You can't, you can't kick us out of here. This is, you know, no. So, yeah, he's not going to take it well. He's not going to take it well. Okay. When they say, you know, you've lost and you, you need to leave. He's not going to take it well at all. Let's see what we've got there. We've got the king. Yeah, he's not going to want to believe it. He's not going to want to believe it. He's not going to want to see it. He's not going to want to see it. He's not going to want to believe it. He sees it from a different reality. I mean, he's totally delusional. But no, but no, we're we're the the. You know, this is the family. We're supposed to be here. You guys need to protect us. You can't, you can't kick us out. Okay, you need to protect us. <laughs> no, you're going, Trump. Okay. You're going. It's not your White House. Okay. You you need to go. You're you're done here. Okay. But yeah, no, he's gonna um he's gonna again try to say that it's all fake and this and that and uh he's gonna be wanting to try to get Barr or somebody to protect him. Because don't forget, he may leave, have to leave on his own because of the uh, money things coming out. Something big is going to come out. He'll be looking for protection from uh, Barr and them, but there's going to be none for him. Okay. Um, they're all going to abandon him. Okay. The minute the minute they're they're done with this, everyone is gonna abandon him. And that'll be his like a a, a big breakdown moment when everybody abandons him. When the next big thing happens that he has to leave and they tell him no you have to you know and he's gotta get out of there. And he thinks that he will still be protected. There, there are those around that are going to continue to protect him. But he's going to be abandoned. Yeah. And he's just going to really lose his mind because at that point he, does, he won't know which way to turn. He's tried to manipulate, and he's had all these people around him that would help him manipulate everything, but everybody is going to totally abandon him. And there will be no no one there to do to do his bidding, to, to manipulate things. Okay. He will be all alone. And looking for the system to protect him. So I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in. This is for entertainment purposes only. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Anyway, have a great weekend. See you online.